Hi, George here. In the last video, I showed you how you can use frames here inside of Photoshop Elements, and that's over here under Graphics and Frames, which is right there. And if you missed that video, I'll put a link for that up there in the upper right hand corner. This time around, though, I want to show you how to make custom frames. Let's say you don't see anything you like over here, you've gone through and nothing really works for you, but you have a picture of a frame that will work. You can actually add in new frames over here to the frames section very easily here with a guided edit. Just close this out of the way. And I have this photograph here with three frames on it. I got this over on Pixabay. You just do a search for frames and you'll find a lot of stuff. And I'm just going to take this one here and just convert this over into a new custom frame. The first thing you want to do is to just select that out from this picture. I'll just pull the selection down just like that and we'll copy this. So edit and copy or the control C keyboard shortcut. Close this file down, make a new file, file new, blank file. And it should automatically say clipboard right here. And this is sized correctly for what we just copied. Choose OK. And then control V or edit paste. And we paste that in. Let's go over here to our layers. And notice it comes in, you see this white background? We don't want that. Let's hide that white background. What you want is transparent background. Now, if you're taking a frame off of a picture, off of a photograph, and you have stuff in the photograph, you'll have to delete that stuff. Just make a selection in here, and right on the edges in here, and then delete that center section and delete whatever is outside as well. So you have just your frame on a transparent background like I have right here. Okay, now we're all set and we can go over here to the guided edit. And inside of special edits, mine is showing right here frame creator. It's the second one over on the top row. For whatever reason, Photoshop Elements likes to move these things around each version. So if you're using a different version than I have, you may find this in a different spot up in here. And this came in several versions ago. I think this came in in version 15 or 16. It was, it's been quite a while. Click on this and here's the frame creator. And come down to the first section here and choose Magic Wand. We already have a clear area, so click into that clear area. That selects that area in here, and then choose Create Frame. And notice how it's gone gray. That's now all set to go. And then simply save your frame right here. Give it a new name. I'll call this one Gold Frame 1. Choose OK. And there we go. We can now go over to the Expert Mode and check out that frame. Click on Expert Mode, and there's the new frame. I'm going to close this down like that. I'm not going to even save that. And let's open up a new file, File New, Blank File. And I'll do the default elements size right here. And Control Zero to fit screen. Go back over to our graphics. And here's how it normally looks, frames. Here's all of your frames. There's a new dropdown right here. Click on this and you can show all or show just your custom frames here where it says My Frames. And that shows just your custom frame. If you're seeing all the frames, there's the custom frame right here. Click on that. That brings it in just like before. There's our new frame. I can move this thing around anywhere I want to. Click inside or double click. And right here, click on this icon to bring a photo in. I'll just grab this guy right here, choose place, and it gets placed into that frame. And we can then move him around like we would previously with the other frames. So it was a fully functional custom frame, just like we had before. Again, notice if you go too far, you're gonna be getting off your frame area there. So you want to maybe extend the size of your picture a bit, enlarge it just a little bit so it fits better. And there we go. Hit the green check mark. We've now placed that person into this frame. Last thing would be to put in a new background on this. And I'll center him on the page. There we go. Go over here to backgrounds. Just kind of a wall background. Not too good. I don't care for that color too much. I'm just trying things at random in here. Got an old fashioned wallpaper look. A couple of those. That's not correct. As you can see, just come in, find a new background. We'll leave it at that. And there you go, there's your new custom frame. If you want to change the picture inside, just double click on the picture, go back up here, click on this, and you can then choose a new picture to put inside that frame, or you can resize it or anything else that you want. And if you found this video useful, why don't you consider sending me a thanks? Click on that little thanks button right down there, bottom right hand corner. If you want to learn a whole lot more about how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my complete training course. And I have a link for that down there in the description as well. And I'll see you next time.